no, 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 no. We are not starting with Mozart. Okay, now you're just trying to make me mad. That's better. It's all you want from me. It's all I'll ever be. Relationships are free. We free, get cheap. A pang of disbelief. A plea of reprieve. Then ignore me till need be. And now I'm thinking I, I'll need a little time to figure this one. Wondering what I mean. Yes, I see how that would be an inconvenience. Please don't start with me today. Fascinating occupation. Ugh, how can anyone do that for a living? Tanya can't help me. She can't understand it any better than... Well, they are just kids. Yeah. Hey, Sandra, how was Disney World? Billy got sick. But you know, there's always next year. Absolutely, there's always next year. Not only does he bend spoons, he can bend minds. Don't miss this rare opportunity to meet celebrated author Ron Christopher, the author of Bending Spoons at the Moravian Bookshop in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I'm assuming you don't want to try another round of chemotherapy. Anyone who says there's nothing worse than death hasn't lived through chemo. I've already enrolled you in our Embrace Life class. Embrace Life? Do doctors try to be ironic or is it an occupational hazard? So cute. See you later, alligator. Thank you. Here you go, honey. Next class in three days. Talk to Winslow, line one, please. Oh, okay, thank you, I got it. He doesn't even know I exist. All right, you win. I'll ask him out. Works for me. Embrace live. I'll see you later, honey. Mom, I've made a decision. I'm not pretending anymore. Okay. Do you have any idea how much that cost? I do, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be... Why am I yelling at you? I... It's a stupid wig. <laughs> it's cool. I mean, it's not like we can take it back. Mm, no. <laughs> Once it has the cancer cooties, I don't think they can resell it. Hey, dig that. Destiny. You know, honey, we can always go see another doctor. We can. Mom, it's all good. I'm gonna walk home. You sure? You start lunch, okay? Go straight home and don't talk to strangers. Yes, ma'am. Unless the cute strangers. <laughs> Be safe. I love you.
songs that you know sweeter than you ever And seeing as you're both interested in making a full pre-need arrangement, we here at Jankowski Funeral Home could guarantee you that the price of whichever casket you choose will never go up for as long as you live. So what do you think? Well, we have to buy them eventually. Okay, let's sign the papers. Oh, very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. What? No, oh, I'm right here. What? I, I'm, what are you doing? I'm just looking around. Well, you, I mean, this isn't a, we can't, we're in the middle of a... That's okay, we'll come back another time. Let's go, baby. Uh, no, sir, please don't go. You know, my sister's so much better at making the arrangements. You can make an appointment. Maybe they had to feed the meter. Okay, you, you have to go. Come on, you gotta go. Come on, go. Out, out. Come on, come on. This isn't a game or whatever you think it is. This is my business. I just, I don't have time for your pranks, please. Oh. Dude. Jesus. No, but I'll give you two more guesses. Did I not make myself clear? Oh, yes. Very clear. Clearly lying. You said you were busy. You don't look busy at all. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to call the police. Oh, good. Go ahead, call them. Hello, police. Oh, thank God. I'm being held hostage in my beautiful funeral home by a bald, sickly-looking teenage girl. I just want to know what's going to happen to me. That's all. First one that blinks loses. I only need one page. I don't really know a lot of people. You get the entire book. OK, cool. People can color. Is the sun rising or setting in this painting? It's whatever you want it to be. Is that sky half empty or half full? What are you talking about? Well, this artist clearly did not want to clarify. It is mysterious on purpose, I think. I don't want to talk about this painting anymore. OK, you're the boss. <laughs> so what's next? Casket selection. Are you sure? Is there a quality issue? Ever sealed. How's the warranty? In case I want to bring it back. I will make an exception for you. You work alone and scare easily. Hmm? I like solitude. And you didn't scare me, you startled me. That's a big difference. OK, just stay here. Don't touch anything. Hello? 
Jankowski, tomorrow at 7. Okay, thank you. Okay, where are you? See, I don't find this kind of thing funny. Where, where are you? Does this coffin make me look fat? It is not a coffin, it is a casket. Get out of it. Don't worry. I took my shoes off before I got in it. What's next? What do you mean? Where's the laboratory, Dr. Frankenstein? <laughs> Seriously, where is it? Are you okay? Blood and guts don't bother me. You should see my treatments. I don't know how to respond to that. Lots of vomiting. Of course. And pooping. I get it. I will be naked. You'll see me. Kind of creepy. I know a female mortician. Would you like that better? I think so. All right, I'll get her when it's, um... My turn. Yeah. I startle you, remember? Do you really know a female mortician? I mean, you could just be saying that and I would never know. This is gonna be a big deal, isn't it? Can I ride in the hearse? Wait your turn. Something you don't want me to see. Okay, look, I'm, I'm not a person who's good with jokes, so if this is a joke, I'm just not gonna be good with that. Stepping outside of herself, dance between heaven and hell. She don't believe that the sun, that it shines on every Hey. Yeah, what's up? You're having lunch with who? Yeah. You're right, a lady might be better. No, that's fine, honey. You, you have fun, okay? Yeah, bye. seriously a mortician. Believe me, no one would lie and say they are. But there are times when we all lie and say we are not. <laughs> You're not like Bill. You know, I deal with the breathers. Bill deals with the sleepers. The dead ones. There are two kinds of morticians. Huggers and others. Huggers are all about empathy. Holding sad people close and making them feel better. And others... Well, they would rather be any place other than with the deceased's family. Doesn't want to love them today and bury them tomorrow. Let's just say Bill's had his challenges. Mom! Mom! I need another quarter. You need another quarter what? I need another quarter now. I think she means please. I need another quarter. Please, now? Honey, go help Uncle Bill with the hot dogs. No! Why not? He scares me. <laughs> he kind of scares me, too. I think I might have a quarter. Maybe you can get him something from that machine and he'll smile more.
That's a cute kid. He's always into something. Between him, his sister, and their father, I barely have time to breathe. Which means more work for my brother. Sorry to say. So when this thing gets the best of me, you'll hook me up? I'll take care of you, of course. Woohoo! I get to be a corpse. Yes, that's right. Pass the interview, got the J-O-B. I'm gonna we, be we a corpse. A, a little decorum. She is delightful. Yeah, she's a barrel of laughs, every one of them inappropriate. 200 restaurants in the Lehigh Valley, she so needed to have chili cheese dogs. Mm. <gasps> Food of the gods. What do you do? Would you do me a favor? I, I don't like people in my personal space. Would you move over, please? It's a community space, Bill. Restaurants are like that. <laughs> so when I get to the other side, do you want me to contact you? How about we not get ahead of ourselves? How about we start with the other side of the table, see how that goes? Well, don't you want to know what it's like? I mean, if there really is a heaven. You can visit me anytime. I'm not talking no horror movie. I just mean something so specific you'd have to know it's me. Sounds wonderful. Hey, Uncle Bill. What's that? Uh, I don't, I don't want that. are not gonna cut it anymore. Hey mom, have you ever seen a pink curse? Who's going to take care of you? Doesn't sound very churchly. I think somebody left that here. Um, Mark suggested we talk. Never trust a psychiatrist who uses his first name. It's a breakdown in protocol. So he's trying to gain your trust? A secret? Okay, well, let's get started. Interesting library. Are you a New Ager? No, 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 far from it. <laughs> what religion are you? Um, I'm a, an Episcopalian minister. And they had you read The Power of Now in Episcopal Minister School, did they? Seminary. But no, no, they, they did not. No, no, no. Um, okay, then. Well, let, let's get started. My first question is, have you ever seen a miracle? Well, actually, I asked the questions. Um, it's the... As the hospital chaplain, it, it's my job to acquaint myself with each of my patients' needs. Well, looky here. This is kind of a miracle. You have an actual honest-to-God Bible in your hippie New Age Episcopalian office. <laughs> have you ever seen a real miracle? Grace, this is not how it's done. No, no, I've, I've never seen a miracle, but that, that doesn't mean they don't exist. I like you. You do. You're honest. Well, while we're on the subject, do you ministers get a pension? You must have 401k, right? We weren't on that subject at all. Well, I was just asking for my mother. She was curious. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, it's nice to see that somebody actually read the book. Chapter 5, Tricks for Gullible Friends. You are? Grace. <laughs> I do believe that you're here for more than an autograph. I want to know what's going to happen to me. Oh, that's not up to me. I'm going to take a walk. Who's a good doggy? Yeah, dogs can sense things that humans can't. Storms, earthquakes. Ghosts? I've read all your books. Then you understand you need faith to bend spoons. That's why I'm having trouble faith. These people believe in something. I want to believe because I believe, not because I'm afraid of dying. Teach me. To bend spoons or to believe? Either. You have a business card? I don't think you can read minds. If you can, it's not in the book. Here. Page 12, paragraph 3. Oh. Making people whole makes me whole. That's why I teach people to bend spoons. I wrote that? Okay, now she's showing them some sort of magic trick. She's only been in class for a couple of days and she's already taking over. It should come as no surprise to you, Mark. She's a funny kid. I mean, it's extraordinary to see how her mind works. She's dealing with this better than most people at her advanced stage. She's definitely not getting any better. I'm embarrassed to admit I, I pray harder for her than any of them. Oh, Lord, that's a terrible thing to say. I'm too tired. Liar! <clears throat> Give her some time. You're the one on borrowed time. Hey, stop it. You know, some of us will be wearing Survivor t-shirts. Not you. You're on the first gurney out of here. Let's talk about something different. Like what color your coffin will be? I hate black. Well, Bill can get any color casket. All oh, right, your uh, mortician friend. Another lie. I don't tell lies. Your whole life is a lie. Just like all of ours. Good. Oh, ah! I believe I peed my pants. Because they think I'm a liar. I don't care what they think. This is a business. I can't have kids in here calling me. My pants chaos. are wet too. I don't think you're allowed to use the S word. Well, I think you're a little too old to be peeing in your own pants. Oh, and by the way, Doug lost Audrey in a coffin. Well, that's Audrey's problem. See, this is what I mean. I can't... Wait a minute. Hey! Hey! What have you done? Dude, I didn't know it locked. They were sealed. I gotta find the key. Find the key? No one has ever won it out before. Bill, don't panic. I know you won't let me down. Audrey. Audrey. Thank you. You're welcome. Just head this way. There's a little girl downstairs locking the cat. Go find the key. Find the key. Find the key. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
excuse me. Sorry. Sorry for your loss. reconsider how long has it been should i call the fire department no no there's not enough time for that just please turn faster you know she's probably out of oxygen by now can you keep your opinions to yourself please got it oh. <gasps> thank you <sighs> okay then i gotta get back to mr Bergie. we don't have to tell anyone about this do we i mean take these kids to my office Keep them out of sight and, and keep an eye on them. You got it. Come on, Rats. Well, you okay? Uh. Maybe we should drain this place up. Shut up and sit quietly. I won't drive you back to the hospital. dark, anything can be real. We need the light to remind us that it's all okay. You think about the dark a lot, huh? I've got a lot of dark in my future. I know that. Indians buried people with food. I vomit whenever I eat. You want me to puke for all of eternity? Warriors got weapons, women got beads, and Bill will get you a light. You would do that for me? Uh, a light. Um, yeah, a light. I guess I could figure that out. Spit to spit? Huh. Tit to tit. This was my best suit. Could I just say I'll try my best? Don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of Gunther loved children. Gunther? An old name for an old man. We were married 62 years. I'm Vivian. These are some of Gunther's favorite people. Come on. This is my friend Jack Hello. and my cousin Molly. Hello. And here's David. Hi, how are and you? And Gunther's sister Maud. Hi. Oh, such beautiful faces. I have to draw them sometime. She's a fabulous artist. And this is my brother, Arthur. How you doing, guys? Vincent. Vincent? That's Bobby. Hey, Bobby. And this is my Gunther. I never did like this suit. For cripe's sake, Viv, let the man rest in peace. You boys want to know what's really lousy when you get to be old like me? You look better dead than you do alive. I bet you boys like cookies. Peanut butter. I made them for his trip, but I don't think he'd miss a few. Damn it. She was passing store-bought off on us and saving the homemade for the dead guy. <laughs> I think like a small adjustable dome light there would be pretty good for reading. A DVD player would be nice, but no scary movies. Okay, a dome light and DVD player. I'll see what I can yeah. do. Yes. What are you doing? We're customizing my casket. No, no. Get out of there, you're a survivor. And survivors don't need caskets. 
I have no doubt that you had something to do with this. I don't know what your deal is or why you're such a freak, but stay away from my daughter. You'll hear from my attorney. You too. What are you doing? You can't stand there like that. We've got a viewing going on. It's not dignified. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Mrs. Berkey. Mrs. Berkey, I, I, I'm so sorry. These children are not here with our permission. I'm, I'm mortified. Are you kidding? This is a perfect wake for Gunther. He loved children so much. I'm sorry, what do you mean? He taught art at the middle school for 50 plus years. What a lovely gesture to have these children join us. May I draw something? Of course. I think I'll draw a lovely sunrise. Do you want to help me, Bill? Let me tell you two something. This is how all of these should be. We're going to tell all our friends about this place. And our friends are all in the dirt, and they all got a lot of money. You'll be rich. <laughs> OK, then. I got to go empty my colostomy bag before it pops. Oh, really? I'm going to go draw something, too. I'm sorry, my good man. Jankowski Funeral Home, please? Oh, here we are. Wonderful. Keep the change. I gotta get another job. This guy needs a new job. No, there you are. Huh? Thanks for not going into the light. Oh, 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 oh slow down oh, there, Tiger. Oh, You've been out for a while. Oh, you called me, I rushed right over. You gave me a stroke. I think you took years off my life. Why the back of my head hurt so much? Getting you here did entail a lot of dragging. Dumb steps. When I close my music box, the music stops. Oh, is this about this light thing again? My flashlight will project a beam of light for 54 minutes. Just forget about what the manufacturer claims. They lie. We should get her an eternal flame. Mm, Kennedy had one. Mm -hmm. Kennedy was the president of the United States. I was a Girl Scout for a month until my mother ruined it, just like everything else. Anyway, you can invent the first nuclear casket. Here are the blueprints for my casket. I don't want, I don't want to see blueprints in a casket. <laughs> I think 
the utility company will outlast any battery. A couple of 210 outlets should do it. Now that's where you come in. No, I'm not doing that. A promise is a promise is a promise. I mean, Billy Boy, this may be a bad time to ask, but do you think you're more of a surf or a turf? Mm. Mm. Okay, everything's ready. Um, I should have enough for all of your new friends. I think I'm gonna skip my blood test tomorrow. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. You mean you would seriously consider not prolonging your life? because of what I'm wearing to dinner. I'd say if the shoe fits. But oh look, you neglected to wear those too. <laughs> Just as you forgot to wear a bra. <laughs> There's no strip club, Missy. <laughs> okay, I'll go change. You, get the door. <sighs> Mine's bigger. <laughs> Hey, Ron Christopher. And you are? Oh, I'm Bill Jankowski. I'm not a uh, family. Grace invited me. Are you family? No. Grace invited me too. Interesting. Thanks for this opportunity to share not only our new friendships, but our faith. Amen. Amen. So, uh, the hospital assigned you to Grace? Or? Well, it's more of a, a pleasure than an assignment. Mm -hmm. And what is it that you do? He writes books about recorded voice phenomena and a hole to hell. A hole to hell? Well, that didn't take long. Uh, more wine, anyone? Yeah, the uh, Russians wanted to see how deep they could drill a hole. But when they lowered a recording device, they... Recorded voices of anguish and despair tormented for all eternity in a burning lake of fire. <laughs> Isn't that just the way? I mean, they should be finding oil. What do they find? Hell. Uh, how's the pasta? Mm. <laughs> I soaked my boob. <laughs> or maybe I didn't. Do you really believe this nonsense? Oh, I have seen the hole. God have mercy. So I went with the Alfredo because I prefer white wine to red. He also records ghosts. I mean, cheap white wine is definitely better than cheap red wine. <laughs> or maybe it isn't. So now you, you communicate with the dead. Uh, the dead can create a stronger energy field than the living in some cases. <laughs> You know, that's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. I mean, how, how do you top finding hell? He can also bend spoons with his mind. Wait, wait a minute, here's the thing. I spend a lot of time with dead people. Well, that's comforting. Practitioner of the occult. Oh, no, uh, Reverend. I'm going to have to take offense to that. We're an organization that offers services for any and all faiths. I, I met him. Oh. <laughs> you don't even know what one third of the brain does. It's a, it's a trick, though. It's not faith. What are you talking about? You can only do it if you believe you can do it. Excuse me. I need each healthy male to draw the straw. One lucky bachelor gets to sleep with me tonight. <coughs> you people are pagan. Oh, well, my mother will chaperone. It'll be a threesome. <coughs> oh. I know how hard this must be. 
I'm sorry. That's the stupidest thing I've ever said. I couldn't possibly know how hard this is. I'm sorry. Once. What? Nothing. Nothing. I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. There's something I have to do. Don't let me fall. <laughs> don't let me fall. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Oh, oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> strong person. I'm not good with people. I never know the right thing to say. You're the funeral home director. I'm sure you always know the perfect thing to say. You sure do drink a lot. Or maybe you don't. So I had always heard girls talking about jumping into bed with mom and dad and having pillow fights. And I never really understood what that was all about. So. The, the Pope said fathers are so necessary as examples and guides for our children and wisdom and virtue. Hold on, isn't the Pope the other guy's boss? Uh, wisdom is wisdom. I <laughs> got it. So I originally got this from my father in case he ever showed up. And he might, while there's still time. He might. He might want to get to know me while there's still time. Of course he would. Grace has always had a strange way of doing things. <laughs> when she was younger, I'd go to parent-teacher conferences. Well, when I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> One teacher would say, oh, she's always telling jokes. She's always saying inappropriate things. She's so hard to teach. And then I'd go across the hall and another teacher would say, she's always telling jokes. She's always saying inappropriate things. Such a pleasure to teach. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I think some people get grace. And others never will. OMG, Phil, you get to sleep with me tonight. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do what? it. Oh, what? Do, what? do you want to do it? Come meet that Phil. Would you stop it? Why me? Drew the short straw, and she's, she's never smelt her father's cologne. Listen to me. You spray that on me one more time, I'm going to punch you. I don't care if you're a man of the cloth. I will sock you right in the nose. Now, I did not sign up for this. You understand? All I said is I would come to dinner. Short straw. Oh, God! The Reverend and I thought you should wear something a little bit more discreet. <laughs> <laughs> You've been drinking. Oh, not nearly enough. <laughs> Well, that was a setup from the get-go. Of course it was. You approve of her charade? I approve of unconditional love. I will not partake of the dark side. Hey, I've never met an atheist who can bend spoons. You have faith. You're halfway there. How long does it take? If it takes a lifetime, it'll be worth it. <laughs> it looks like something nuns wear. I'm hot. Bill thinks so. No, I'm sweating. Wait, he does? This is why people get divorced.
Where are you going, Welcher? I'm not gonna fall for your tricks. Just normalcy, Bill. Don't be afraid of being normal. Well, look who's talking. I don't start with that. I'm not gonna fall for that. I'm too smart to fall for that. Okay, Mr. Jankowski, tell us a story. Well, once upon a time, there was a stupid man who never learned how to stick up for himself. That's some boring autobiography. Oh, shit! Hey, no potty talk in front of my sainted child. Oh, shit! You're both nuts. Bill, have you ever heard of the Boogeyman? <laughs> you want to know why we cry? Bring it home. Wanna know why we dream? It's cause we see. It's cause we see. Sick and wind coming back again. Gonna save my soul from the preacher man. Taking that lonely road around the bend to a different time with better men. Venus! Venus! Great. Gotcha. Oh, oh, God. I don't know what is wrong with you, but it is no little thing. <laughs> okay, honey, stop torturing him. Are you guys hungry? I want an answer on the new x-ray equipment by the end of the month, no later. Find out if the bids are in on the tile for the South Corridor. You hearing me? Yes. Your secretary, not a shadow. Let me hear that you hear. I heard, yes. Heard what? X-ray machine, end of month, bids on tiles. Good. And check with food services. I was sitting down at lunch ready to enjoy a hot bowl of clam chowder and there, there wasn't a damn spoon in sight. She's got such concentration and commitment. Frankly, it's a joy to watch. But if it's misguided? Is it helping? It's not helping my silverware budget, I can tell you that. Uh, that's more your thing than it is my thing. It's true, you know, physically, they're not getting any better. But I don't think it's a good enough reason to dissuade them. I'm not comfortable with it here. I want to be clear on that. It's a hospital, not some holistic health center. Look, in college, I went to the islands on spring break. There was some man down there winning all the locals' money by rolling dice. Now, the dice were loaded, so he was cheating. It's the best thing you could come up with on spring break, gambling. Anywho, this woman comes up and she's got a, a doll, a voodoo doll, dressed like the dice guy. And she pulls out this knife and she stabs it and the guy falls down dead. The guy was a jerk and he knew he was a jerk, so he died because he believed he should die. So maybe some people live because they believe they should live. Hmm? I think my men a little. Yeah, I can kind of see that a little. Hey, look! Holy crap. You ride in the chair, you die in the chair. I'm in charge today. You're the charge nurse? Mm hmm And you? You call that being in charge? Do you have a question I can answer? I do. I do. Are you going to be a bridge life for us? What a joke. I'm sorry. They actually had to take a break to hear the bridge life. And that doesn't make sense to me. All the doctors seem to be so
little girl. Want to see a magic trick? Disappear. Come on. I think you should tell that to Dr. Adams. What? This is why I don't like clowns. Nice wheels. Can I borrow them on prom night? <laughs> I'm not strong like you. From now on, it's all about waiting. What did they say? Make my peace. I won't be needing this. So, do it for the both of us. Bend the doom spoon and beat the beast. Audrey, Audrey and Joe, are you in there? Honey, the door's locked and Mama can't get in. Listen, I want this door open this instant. I want it open right now. The only thing I'm scared of other than her is that horrible darkness. So just remember to tell Bill, please. Of course it's you. What did I tell you? I told you to stay away from my girl. She got these ridiculous ideas in her head, and now she believes them. I don't want you to ever see Audrey again. Ever. And if you do, I'm going to call the police. Audrey. Just tell Bill, please tell him. Tell it. Please, Grace, please. Here's your mom. Later. Hey, hon. Talk about the proverbial nail in a coffin. Excellent metaphor. I, I know how much all this stuff means to you, Gracie. Only my father calls me Gracie. You never met your father. Still, it's something I'd like to reserve just for him. Why don't you call me something else? Beautiful remains unclaimed. <laughs> so what now? We're going to do this. We're all going to do it. I'll make it happen. Well, if anyone can, <clears throat> it's you. Thank you. You're beautiful. You want to ride? No. They booted them out of the hospital a few weeks ago. We have all this extra room. You know, it could be illegal. Did that ever occur to you? That is just patently absurd. Why are you being so stubborn about this? You know you like the kid. See you later. Bill Jankowski? C come back here. There he is. Hey, look at the Billy boy. Couldn't wait to tell us all the big news. Well, oh, for the love of... Oh. Shot, Kobe. You took her cruising in that. Well, I couldn't just take her. You should have seen them at the drive-thru. Oh. Don't you have people to do that for you? You know, I don't know a lot about the lifestyles of the rich and famous, but I would think not actually working for a living would make a man soft and weak. Oh, what I do isn't work. Well, what is it that you do do exactly? I mean, what are you, you're a writer? So you don't even have to pick up a pen anymore. It's just click, 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 and you're a writer, right? That's work. Yeah, right, but what you do is? 
Dressing up dead people? Nothing too creepy about that. And I'm sure it's extremely labor intensive, like playing with Barbie. What do you want exactly? Exactly. I want to know what Venus wore when you slept with her. Well, hold on a second. Why are you asking me that? Because I suppose that I'm the dessert after tonight's dinner. What, what, did, you, what did you say? Guess you never went back for seconds. <laughs> you know, no matter. Whatever it is is going to be cool, right? I mean, <laughs> how, how long is she going to be wearing it for anyway? Really, honestly. Right? <laughs> oh! I almost have. Yes? Okay, you. I did it. How'd it go? Not pretty. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. We're only talking a finite amount of time here. Uh. Hold on, it's him. Hello. Oh, hey, I need to see you. Love to make that happen, Billy Boy, but I'm very I'm busy. I'll bring some chili cheese dogs. My schedule just opened up. Falls, 20 minutes. Leets. You are so sexy. Although I appreciate the call. Oh, hey, man, that, that wasn't intended for you, OK? I didn't realize. Who are you with? No one. I'm alone. OK, then. Uh, how'd we do? Hook, line, and shinka. Hope you're happy. Not convinced they won't actually ask me to stay the next time I find hell. <laughs> Get over yourself. <laughs> hey, are you with that sexy blonde from the bookstore? I can tell by the awkward pause that you are. Tell her I think she has great taste. Ciao, baby. How can you eat that? Not really concerned about my cholesterol. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's going on between Ron and your mother? What do you mean? Is, is she sleeping over tonight? The idea was floated. You have uh, concerns? Yeah. I do. I definitely have concerns. What do we know about this guy? Other than those 250 pages of highly detailed information listed on Google, he's a mysterious conundrum. All right. Let's just talk about what we do know. We know that he's a bimbo chaser, and your mother deserves better than that. Your mom's no bimbo. Well, I'm just happy somebody finds her attractive. Of course he finds her attractive. What's the matter with you? Well, how am I supposed to know what's attractive about her? She's my mother. Everything. Everything is perfect. Everything? Like what? Uh, no. I'm not gonna sit here and I'm not gonna engage you in a conversation about why other men find your mother attractive. I'm not gonna do it. Well, I don't have a father. I only have you. Come on, Billy boy. Just between us. Should I ask Ron? The very first thing any man would notice that's attractive about your mother is her neck. Why are you laughing? It's neck. It's beautiful. No, <laughs> it's she's neck, got her neck. No, yes, it's yes, he's beautiful. Laugh about it, I'm telling you. What else? Her legs are great. Beautiful. They go on forever. They do? Yeah, they do. Mm. No wonder she takes such good care of them, then. Creamy, soft things. They feel like velvet. I'll bet they do. Good thing you didn't mention her boobs. Mom thinks it's kind of weird the way they point straight up. Yeah. I imagine my being here is quite a surprise to you. The shock of it is hard to put into words. Hard to put into words. Some writer. Hello. Oh, my good 
goodness, what have we here? Oh, nothing, a couple <laughs> flowers. You're pretty, you should have pretty things. Ron got you some too, I think. You know what, I'll put them in water. He tried his best. Oh, they're lovely, Ron. Come on in. <laughs> Handsome smile disappear. They're for Grace. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Why don't you and Doug take these into the kitchen and put them in a vase or three? Well, um, why did Ron help out with that? Because Ron is giving me a glass of wine. Your wish is my command. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. oh. And that is why you do not buy discounted flowers. They weren't discounted. Funeral director knows discounted flowers, believe me. <laughs> anyway, Bill, understand you were Grace's knight in shining armor. Saved her from the, the ravages of hospital red tape. She made me a very compelling argument. I told him you couldn't court my mother until he let me have my spoon bending classes at his funeral home. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's courting me? Mother, pay attention. Hmm. Ron is. And Bill now seems to have thrown his hat into the ring. <laughs> What's courting? Prelude to dating. No, oh, um, before dating, there was courting. I, there was courting. Only in this wacky household does courting still exist. <laughs> Everywhere else in the world, everybody just dates. Okay, then, well, as of tonight, I am officially courting Grace. Really? I accept. <laughs> Let's drink a toast. Okay, which one of my quarters will get me some more wine? Uh, I think we're out of wine. <laughs> oh, I have another bottle in the car. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how long does this courting shit take? stuff? Um, okay, good. I'm glad that you asked. Uh, normally, it takes a couple months. What? How old are you? 17. You seem different than you do when I met you. So do you, man. You as sick as she is? She's sicker for now, anyway. can't hurt her, you know? I mean, she's been through so much. You too, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, then. You should go as fast as your heart takes you. Okay. And it, well, hold on, and then, and then you should, you know, slow down so that you don't do something that you shouldn't do, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, big guy. I, I'm not interrupting anyone. No, Bill. Just give me some girl advice. He was. Great. Who knows more about girls than The Undertaker here? Oh, yeah. So, speaking of that, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna take off. You gotta go? He's gotta go. Oh, gotta he's go. gotta go. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, girls, Ron has to go. Girls, did you hear what I said? Ron has to go. Yeah. Uh, me too. Early chapel tomorrow. And you might have a better chance of turning her on without the apron. Thank you. Mom's not feeling too well. She says bye. I should probably hit it too. Then I'll uh, I'll call you in the morning. <laughs> Take it bye. Easy. See you. Night. Goodbye. Hey. Thanks for coming, you guys. We'll see you later. Hey, where's your mom? Last I saw, she was driving the pool swimming bus upstairs. Can I get the family bed ready? Yeah, you can do that. Venus. Venus. Hey. 
Venus. You decent? Sometimes I think I can write a song to make you stay. Venus. Please. You know, Grace had a nice night plan for you and her and me, I think. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just having fun. You should try it sometime. It's pretty great. No one had fun. Come on, wake up. What? Wake up. What? I can take wake care up. of myself. Get oh. off me! She's fun killer. I can take care of myself. Dork, I just made that bed. Where are you going? Grace, I just realized I'm not your guy. I tried. I, I just don't have it in me. Bill, what are you talking about? strong. Not like you. That's what you need. Ron's your guy. I'm truly sorry. I'd cut the ties that tame you when you can't love. So when you think there is no good left, I will hold you so you will feel Do you want to talk about it? Not really. I want to talk about it. I'm listening.
can't talk about it. hasn't always been like this for me. There was a time 30 years ago when anything was possible. I had no intention of becoming a funeral director. In fact, it was the very last thing on my mind. When I was young, it seemed that life was so wonderful. The miracle, how it was beautiful, magical, and all the birds in the tree. All I wanted to do was live. I didn't want anything to do with the world of death. Anyway, I figured my little sister would eventually take over the family business because she was the smart one. It was that summer that my life changed forever. I only had one thing on my mind back then, and it drove my old man crazy that it had nothing to do with embalming bodies or washing hearses. No, the only thing I thought about or cared about was my girlfriend, Bethany Miles. She was so beautiful. She was an artist, and to her, the world was one big, beautiful place, and she just wanted to paint every inch of it. Our life together was so great. She was gonna go to France and study, and I, I was just gonna tag along, you know, have an adventure, see where life took us. Anything was possible. Grace, everybody loved her. They loved her talent, they loved her smile. I know I loved her. She was perfect. And even though I wasn't gonna become a funeral director, I would still help my parents out whenever they needed me. And that summer while they were on vacation, we got a coroner call. My dad had a contract with the city. If an ambulance was too late, they'd call us. And Bethany told me that she once saw some poor old guy drop dead from the heat at one of these art shows. It was a hot summer back then, so I figured this was something like that.
But when I got there, I could see the way the people were acting. And I realized this wasn't like that at all. Everything was strange. There was a woman laughing, just laughing for no reason. And all the other people were different, off. I don't know how to say it other than they were. They were acting like ghosts. person I was, the person I could have been, died with Bethany that day. All the dreams, all of the adventures were gone forever. And the woman who ran her down, who killed her, who killed us, was so drunk that she didn't even know she was a murderer until they woke her up the next morning and told her. Sadness it was overwhelming. It was debilitating. Actually, I didn't feel that pain anymore. But I didn't feel anything else either. When I was 20, I would have gladly traded places with you so I wouldn't have had to feel that pain ever again. And then one day you came into my life. <laughs> and I thought, maybe it's time for another adventure. And then a couple weeks back, there was your mom laughing, drunkenly laughing over nothing. And she didn't understand that she had the power to kill me once more. I need you to help me. Grace, I need to know whether that sun is rising or setting. I'll never be able to figure it out without you. Keep fighting with myself 
I'm just, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know how to tell you or when, and I couldn't do it with everyone around. Are you mad? <laughs> you are retarded. Hey, I, I don't think we're allowed to say that. No, Douglas, it is no longer acceptable to call mentally handicapped people retarded, but you are not mentally handicapped. You are retarded. What's the matter with you? How could you getting better possibly make me mad? Anyway, Dr. Winslow said it'll be months before he's sure. So. Are you listening to me? What? I need to make sure that one of us might escape and bend that damn spoon. Well, he said there was no guarantees. Baby, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, and you know what? It's the dying that really is easy. Bull. No, listen. You don't choose to die. It just happens when it happens. But living right takes fighting and commitment and honor and all those things that are so damn hard for so many humans. But not for you. I know. You're strong. And you're gonna live. You hear me? You're gonna do it. Every girlfriend and every wife and every lover better be so sick and tired of hearing about grace this and grace that. They're just gonna have to kiss you all the time to make you shut up. Is that how it works? Carry on, lovebirds, I see nothing. Mother, we must talk later because your daughter's been kissed by a boy. Audrey. Maude helped me paint it. It's a work of art. She'd be so happy, really. The problem is, this is all I can do. I mean, we're not doing a funeral, obviously. Getting Audrey in this would be impossible. Not impossible. Certainly not easy, but not impossible. Do 
Hey, Hello, Dick. Hello, Mary. Thanks for taking the time. No problem. You said it was important. As long as I'm free in a half an hour, I have the Bernards coming in to see their little girl. I understand. Too young. May we talk in your office? Yes, please. Sure you wouldn't find these catalogs online? No, I checked. The package is so old, my father sold it to them. All these files in my office only date back 10 years. After that, we'll have to go to the basement. Perhaps we can uh, check this later. Oh, hey, you've been a godsend for even checking in the first place. Yeah, I'll show you out. No, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll just wait here and leave discreetly when the family comes in. Okay. Ugh. I think we should get closer in case he needs our help. Mom? Honey? What's the matter? Are you okay? Mom, listen to me. Okay, I'm listening. He's always going to need your help. <laughs> yeah. Do you understand? Always. No backsliding. Not ever. Okay. Let's shag <laughs> it. There's certainly no hurry. We can wait here all day till you're both ready. My side of the family is very long lived, healthy people. This horror must have come from Brian's side of the family. He had a cousin, Anthony, that died very young. For Christ's sake, Helen, he got hit by a bus. Okay, Helen. We have to do this. What have you done? I, I, I don't... I want an explanation, and I want it this second. Then I'm the one who should give it to you. This is egregious. What did you do? I'm gonna destroy you. You can kiss your business goodbye. How dare you interfere with what I wanted? What about what Audrey wanted? Oh. Of course, you're involved in this. You should have known. Right. Come on, let's go. Your father is spinning this grave right now. I think you had an. I think I've heard it. Lights, lights. No, you don't know what it feels like. Wait, oh, I forgot. I don't want Helen. to deal with her anymore. And I don't want to see her. Helen. <laughs> mm. hey, 
to do like that. They love it. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we did it. Was she beautiful? Mm -hmm. so, so beautiful. She looked like an angel her mom said. Come on. We should go home. I'm... I think we should go to the hospital first. Yeah, okay, come on. for the right time. If you're proposing, I don't think we have time to plan for a big church wedding. Stop joking. Be serious. I'm trying to be serious. Okay, I'll be serious. Go. How am I doing? Do anything? <clears throat> I don't think you should actually get out of here without being someone's legitimate girlfriend. Can't kiss another girl for as long as you live. <laughs> Sorry, I should have been quieter. I'm sorry. It's alright. Well, plenty of time to sleep. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yes, please. Here's your spin, honey. You gotta know that you are one of their favorite customers. I don't know anybody other than the funeral director who would get up in the middle of the night to help somebody.
it's full circle. You have to feed me and change my diapers all over again. Oh, stop. You stop talking for once in your life and listen to your mother. You are the reason that I was put on this earth. And I know that I am the reason that you were put on this earth because without you, honey, I wouldn't be here. We are in it together. Forever. It's a deal. Let's take a quick look in there. Open up. Mm, okay. It's hard. Too many chili dogs. It's the toxins. They're jumping ship. It's cats. So beach, not church. Well, you know, we just thought we could both use the fresh air. I do love weddings. I wish I could be there. We do too, sweetie. Hey. I can make this easier for you. Please let me make it easier for you. Thank you, really. For everything. <laughs> But you only die once, so I like to be there when it happens. But you have to promise to name your firstborn Grace. Mm -hmm. Of course. Even if it's a boy. <laughs> Here's eight. Not bad at all. drawing your pictures. It's time. Dylan drew you another picture. It's beautiful. Here we go. I wouldn't you be surprised to be here? So can we please not make a big mischief out of it? May I pray? If you must. Certainly must. <laughs> Ray away. God in heaven, when you are done with her there, please send Grace back to us here. We will all be lost without her. Amen. Reincarnation. I think someone might need a talk from the bishop. <laughs> Maybe so. Despite your best efforts, I could not, for the life or death of me, bend this thing. Gracie, you are such a dork. <laughs> well, if I got like five hours to live and your boyfriend's calling me a dork. <laughs> What's harder to bend than that? This is when no one wants to die. Because there's a stupid pop quiz at the end. Honey, look around you. Look. 
hasn't changed all of us. I mean, surely that's harder than bending a spoon. Love you, sir. We love you, honey. I'm gonna make some tea. Might help me sleep. I'll do that for you. I need one you make up the bed.
Should I care about which way the wind is blowing? 